Now, the sport of kings, known as polo, is bringing people together once again for a good cause at the ninth annual Pink Polo event on Saturday, the 3rd of November in Paul, where celebrities and polo, enth and polo enthusiasts alike will get decked in their Sunday best to raise funds for those affected by cancer. Joining us on Expresso this morning to share more ahead of the big day is Managing Director of Val de Vie Estate, Olympic gold medalist and professional hunk, Rick <laughs> Nietlung, everyone. <laughs> How do you feel about that last part? Yeah, no, that uh, you're embarrassing me a little bit. No, I'm gonna have to get you back. But somehow. you're on a professional level, like that. No, okay? no, no, I'm retired. <laughs> I'm over the hill. Like a fine wine, you just get better with age. <laughs> but anyways, I'm Thanks not gonna embarrass you anymore, Rick. It's so good to have you on the show. It's always good to be here. The pink polo for the last nine years has been a very big highlight on our calendars. Not only for the fact that it is really a place where people love getting dressed up and watching polo, but it really is for a good cause. Why has it yeah. always been so important for you to align it with those that are affected with cancer? I think that goes, it goes really down to the heart of Valde Vie. Mm. Um, uh, you know, so we started you know, the Pink Polo event, um, you know, like I said, nine years ago. And it, it really is the heart of Valde Vie. We want to make a difference. Uh, we really care about the community. It started very, very small, and it's grown into an amazing event. Uh, you know, our events team has done an incredible job. Uh, it, it's become, you know, international with the international players, uh, you know, that are flying in, you know, just to play in our event. Wow. We've exported it, you know, to other parts of the world, and I think we've touched uh, tens of thousands of people, especially mm -hmm. in the community there in Paul, Frontchuk, and Wellington. Yeah. Um, let's call it the Winelands. Yeah. Uh, people that. Uh, um, have had cancer, we bring them to the event, we really treat them, and uh, we've done all kinds of campaigns to prevent uh, or to, you know, like detect these, uh, uh, you know, like the different types of cancers early so we can change these people's lives. Yeah, I remember one of the years that I hosted it as well with Ayanda at Lamini. It was so wonderful to see the survivors being brought out yeah. and given a platform to shine and looking so beautiful and so radiant with life. Why is it also important for the Pink Polo to align itself with influential voices for this event as well? Well, you know, as a, as a you know, um, I, I don't like to use the word celebrity, but, you know, you know, somebody that is well known, it's, you know, it's one of the good things that, uh, you know, that happens to you is that you have a bigger voice. You've got a big platform and to use that voice for good. Uh, so. We're very grateful for people like yourself to come and host it for us. Mm -hmm. You're also part of the growth of this event. And um, yeah, you know, hopefully on the day and in the next month in the lead up to it, we can, we can amplify that message. Uh, we can raise as much money in, you know, as mm -hmm. possible. Uh, and that money goes straight into the community and uh, yeah, just to make a better life for all. I love it. Do you want to tell us more about the exciting partnership between the Pink Polo, Espresso and Chuck? Yes, uh, so we are donating 100 Rand for every ticket um, at the Pink Food Truck Fair, which is on the berms, on the grass. Uh, we hope to sell thousands of tickets, uh, and that will go towards your program here at Expresso for Chuck. Um, I've also done a lot of work for Chuck in the past. Uh, you know, my sister was diagnosed with cancer when she was 12 years old, so it's something that's very close to my heart as well. And, uh, you know, when you go and visit, these homes um, and you s just see how appreciative people are of, of, um, of the love and the care. Uh, so we are very excited to be part of uh, you know, um, this partnership. Um, I immediately thought about Expresso yeah. to join with you guys. I think this is an incredible platform. So thank you very much for the opportunity. Well, thank you so much for jumping on board. We're very passionate about Chuck and doing what we can to, <laughs> to change the lives of these incredible young people who deserve a chance in life. But uh, the day is also going to be very exciting. I've heard that you're going to have 2014's Miss World and Miss South Africa, Rolene Strauss is one of the hosts. And then, of course, our very own Katlejo Mabwe yeah. is going to be hosting the show. What can the people that will be attending there expect from the day? Well, I always feel like it's the, here in the Western Cape, this, you know, the summer starts a little bit later, so. Yes, especially <laughs> it's still this cold, year. Yeah. <laughs> so this is kind of the first event of the summer. So there's a lot of excitement for people to, like you said, dress up. Um, uh, for the people that haven't been to Val de Vie, mm -hmm. we're surrounded by mountains. It's in the beautiful, you know, Cape Winelands. Mm -hmm. um, 
it really doesn't get any better than that. That's and uh, lots of entertainment. You know, Rulin, um is also a resident at Val de Vie, so uh, she's just going to walk from her house to the ah, event. Must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I mean, she's just amazing. She you know, she's a medical she doctor, uh, so she'll be able to share uh, a little bit more from the medical side as well. So, uh, and then Catlejo, I think he's a superstar. I've I've you know, known him for a long time, and I thought he would be a great. Uh, partner for her to be able to host it. So I'm looking forward to the day. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Thank you so much, Rake, for being here, of course, for your partnership with us and Chuck and uh, Pink Polo is always an incredible event with just so much heart. Yeah. And just, I just want to say for people that want to buy tickets, they yes. can go on to CompuTicket or the website. It's pinkpolo.co.za. There we go. Pinkpolo.co.za or CompuTicket. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks, well, there you have it. The 2018 Polo happening on the 3rd of November. It's a Saturday. It is, of course, an amazing cause. You're going to see incredible people there. Rank's going to be there. It's worth attending. <laughs> and, uh, of course, Espresso is very much involved.